Welcome back. We are here looking at the S&P 500 and this is going to be my weekly forecast. So last week was uh, very interesting and um, we basically saw a lot of bad news and it had all to do with the coronavirus. So in some countries, especially the United States, uh, Brazil and others, the virus is still completely out of control. And as long as that is going to be the case, I don't really see that we're going to do test these highs again. I just don't see how some of the industries like airliners, um, cruise liners, uh, restaurants, uh, entertainment industry and so on ever will get back to prior coronavirus levels uh, if we don't find a cure or if we don't uh, find um, a, a treatment that is significantly better than we have at the moment. So we'll probably stay in this state of limbo for a very long time. So every time we get down to these levels, I imagine the Fed uh, stepping in, propping out the market. There will be some bad news. We'll go down again. And then we'll constantly grind uh, within this um, same area of or level of uh, 30 um, 300 and uh, 3000 this area here so um, we need to get a vaccine or a much better treatment in order to get this market higher or the fed has to do even more than it has already done and even then i believe it will still be effective so at the moment the very highs I believe is um, is this area of uh, uh, 3300. Uh, don't see we us um, uh, filling this gap or even testing these highs again and so on. And of course, if we look at the Nasdaq, uh, there are some of the biggest beneficiary of this crisis uh, are part of the Nasdaq index, and therefore you see the V-shaped recovery. I just don't see us um, having a V-shaped recovery for the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones. This is just going to take a long time. And if if cases continue soaring like they're doing at the moment and it gets out of control like it was in in April May, then we may see us uh retesting uh the lows again. That is uh possible. However, I do believe that there's going to be substantial resistance here. The Fed is going to uh, intervene again, like they did over here, and the market is going to go higher. If we were to break uh, this level uh, or the uh, 50 moving average, we will go down to uh, 2800, this level here. So his, uh, back in the days when we were at uh, 2800, this was such a grind it was almost impossible to break this um, support level. And I'm guessing that is going to be the case. If we break uh, the 50 moving average, we will go to 2800 and then we'll bounce from there. There's probably no question about that. We will bounce from there and probably go uh, high to 30, uh, 32 again. Um, I, don't, I don't see us breaking this barrier anytime too soon uh, if we were to break the 50 moving average. And the reason for that is that we would have to have countries shutting down again, which most countries just can't afford. They will basically take the chance with the crisis because they will go bankrupt. Um, so you have have extreme bad news concerning the, uh, the virus. The countries have to shut down. Or the Fed basically making a pronouncement that they're not going to intervene in the market anymore anytime soon. And I just don't see uh, Powell doing that as long as, as when he said that they're not thinking about thinking about uh, increasing interest rate and so on. So if the 15 moving average were to break, we will go to for, uh, 20, uh, 2800 and then we'll bounce from there. If we were to break 2800, 
then we will go much slower. Then we will basically go back to these levels and retest because there's some, nothing here to basically resist. There's probably a little bit of resistance in this um, area here. However, if you break this area here, then you'll also break that area and then you'll retest these lows. So, but I just don't think the Fed will uh, allow that. I think they will intervene on Monday. We'll go higher from here. Uh, most likely we will uh, retest um, these highs and then go back again and so on and so on and so on. So if we look at the, at the, just remove all of these. If we look at the technical indicators, we are in days. We can see that the um, RSI is almost crossed 30. So it is almost in the overbought zone. Uh, we had a massive spike here. And this is just you know, the, the volume of bad news that affected this sell-off here. So uh, we are almost in the overbought uh, position, meaning that we will mostly go higher. Uh, the uh, MACD is not close to the signal line, so probably it will take one, two trading days in order for us to, to get this RSI going back up again. Uh, we can see the Bollinger Band, and this is probably a very good indicator of where we're going because we are nearly touching the lower limits of the Bollinger Band, uh, which means that we'll probably bounce from here. Um, the Stochastic, we had a massive sell-off. So we're also in the in the area of uh, of uh, of, um, of signaling signaling that will go back up again. Um, at the moment, I will just wait to see what technically happens. Um, if we were to break um, the 50 moving average and we got a candlestick that was basically under the 50 moving average, then I would be a seller. I will basically go and sell and I will sell to 1800. Um, if we go all the way under 1800 and we bounce from 1800, I will be a buyer. That is two good uh, positions uh, for, for, for selling and buying because I don't believe that we'll break this and I will most likely don't believe that we will break uh, 2800, we'll bounce from there. So that will be a good buying opportunity. So, hope you like this um, video. Um, if you're welcome to like this video and uh, so support, support our channel by subscribing and hit the bell button in order to um, to get our newest videos. Uh, good luck and uh, thank you very much.